Hey, Eric. Hey, Hilo. Wanna play s SBS? Nah, I'm looking for the missing people tonight. Remember? Oh, yeah. Make sure Billy gets taken care of. I don't like bringing him out after dark. Don't worry, I will. Good kitty, very good kitty. like someone's too tired. Ugh, I feel sick. Let me check your temperature. Okay. Oh my, you're burning up. Open your mouth. Uh, uh, just as I was afraid of. Strep throat. Let's get you to bed. Eric. What is it? You're the best roommate I could have gotten. I know. <sighs> because you tell me that every time you're sick. I know, I know. Is this a safe place? I think so. Don't assume there's a human sitting nearby. Very helpful, but it's our best shot at safety. Why would being near a city be a problem? Humans can't be trusted, unless you're one of them or a noob. The best case for you could be as someone's breakfast. Dang, keep me out of there. So this is what it's like on the inside. It's very dark. Oh wait, it's not now. Imagine we saw generators outside. Shut up. Are you sure this is a safe place? What if people live here? No one lives here. It's been abandoned for a long time. The food here is disgusting. Why do you expect this place is abandoned and besides it's safe for us to eat moldy food? Doesn't mean it isn't gross. Well, it's the only food we've got. Could we get to sleep? Timmy's getting tired. Let's just rest. Gary, stay away from everyone else. Why? You'll electrocute them. But why? You're literally twitching because of the electricity. No, I'm not. Just do it. Okay.
Good morning. Um, Lang? 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 Uh-huh. I just had a nightmare. You know, Lang, everyone has an inner struggle no one else can understand. Yeah, but not even I understand this. Do you want to talk about it? I may not be able to help much, but I'll be able to listen. I would like to talk about it. There was pictures of two people I don't know and a giant face staring at me telling me I didn't get my perfect life or something. He was telling me that I know that I know what's happening, but I I don't. Uh, I I don't know how to respond to that. Lang. Coming. What's that? A car. A what? A car, and this one's electric. Come on, get in. Boing. Seems like it's out of power. Um, Gary. Yeah? Could you come over here? Gary. All right, Gary, put your hand in that hole on the back. It... Okay. All right, so what does this thing do? Ah! Hey, cart kid, uh, how are things going? Not good. The van needs a part we don't have and can't afford. Well, that sucks. Uh, excuse me, that car was going way too fast. Who is this guy? Uh, I heard that, but I don't take any offense. I'm Chef. I kind of look after this town. Oh no, he's gonna arrest us. Um, no, I don't arrest someone over speeding, and I actually do not have the authority to arrest people. Please don't hurt us. Um, why would I hurt you? You haven't done anything except drive too fast, and you stopped. But we're not humans. Yeah, my buddies Cart Kid Bite and Slime King aren't either. I don't care if someone's a human or not. All I care about is whether they're trying to hurt people or not. Uh, okay. I have no reason to want to hurt you. Come inside. Um, I I'd like to talk and just let me finish explaining inside. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, are you sure we can trust this guy? Why would he be friends with that cat thing and that blob and that robot if he wanted to hurt us? Just warning you, stay away from Gary, the blue one. He could electrocute you. I'll make sure to look out for that. Don't touch my tail, kitty man. I am not a cat, I am a monster. Welcome to my humble- <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, I forgot about my gas. As long as it isn't poisonous, I'll be fine. I mean, it is sort of poisonous in this strange, anonymous place, but not here. So I'm fine then. Should be. Oh, the pizza's ready. Pizza! So, um, I, I only got one of your names. Tell us why. We need to talk inside first. Alright, um... One, um, the pizza was almost ready. Two, there's a guy out there. I'm afraid he's listening to us. I don't know completely, but I don't want to risk it. All right, I'm laying in. That's Hazzy. Nice to meet you both. You seem oddly familiar. Fine thing, stop. I think you're making them uncomfortable. Um, you okay? No! Do you want to talk about it? I, I, yes. I paused. Um, um, uh, if it's too hard for you to talk about, we don't have to. No, I, I, I want to talk. I, I lost everything I had. Um, there's others around me, but I still feel very alone. Well, what are you doing? It's a hug. Uh, don't tell me you've never been hugged before. I, I, I like this. Thank you. Franklin was kind of right. Bite, no one was talking to you. you. You seem kind of familiar to me, too. Alright, what do you mean when you said you lost everything? Did, what did you have before? I, I had some 
like, friends that you remind me of, uh, and, um, people that I would always help. And how did you lose everything? Me and my friends were going into this lab area for, I don't remember why, and that place was holding something we didn't know about. Like some kind of strange experiment. I, I don't understand why. Like it turns people into like animals, I guess, and but gets rid of most of their memories and I, I was unconscious for a while. Ah. This um, place called Laminax Industries, I think. Was it like in a cave? Yes. Lynn might still be alive. Possibly, I wouldn't get your hopes up though. There was like a dude wearing an eyeball mask and he was like killing a bunch of us. Ugh, not that guy. Uh, it's, it's getting late. Uh, we should all head to bed.